guys Cinematic wise, that was one of the most beautiful starting I have ever seen. And in a way, it felt better than Genshin, graphically at least. But I couldn't understand anything lore wise though. You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. I think the protagonist here is called Rover. So like in Genshin Impact, they are called Traveler. Where are you from? Or who you are? Baisha didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. It's probably going to get dangerous here soon. <sighs> oh, I knew it. Our gourds are out of service because of the Etheric Sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop, every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great! Let's go together! Rover, I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90%... No, 100% sure about you. Rover, I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I... quiet here now but you never know when oh okay that was cool my first attack was a miss nice
remember how to fight despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with my show f uh, I mean... Oops, the voice actor got skipped. What's wrong? Are you injured from the fight? You saw our sentinel in your memories? Yes, the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. The sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Jue, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. Are there other sentinels outside Huanglong? Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. I saw myself standing face to face with it. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Zhenzhou. Perhaps it's just my imagination. No, it's not. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chizia oh. might be in danger. Rover, please. Oh, no way. Doesn't matter. Speeding up. No hesitation. Let me be your blade. Tempest. Speeding up. Swift and resolute. Let me be your blade. Serenade! Storm, hear my command! Is that that really you so that hard. looks really advanced see there's a resonance beacon over there when you see a beacon be sure to register and activate it it's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon it can protect you from danger sometimes rover could he hand me your terminal for a moment <sighs> done oops 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 wrong click
Asteroid is the primo gym of Wuthering Webs, I guess. We are almost at the gorgeous entrance. There will be a descent. Power lifts. I think the graphics in Wuthering Webs looks a lot better than Genshin Impact for some Once reason. Out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. Sounds impressive. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Bai Zhe here. Where is she? This is the center of the Atheric Sea. A tacit the weather field? drastically changed. here when we just got here but i didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence so it appeared while we weren't looking like in the blink of an eye or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are could it be following us the center of the tacit field someone is there isn't that baija baija We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Isn't that tacit field dangerous? Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. You mean this tacit field is relatively safe now? My apologies. I should have said it is temporarily safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit discords born within are usually stronger. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. Let's go down then. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use the glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. Uh, okay. Okay, thanks. I was waiting for that tutorial to pop before jumping because I didn't want to die. We're in a dormant tacit field, right? Why did you come here by yourself? you know we You are all right, it seems. Yeah, he was super energetic. Handled a super big TD. Way more spirited than me. I've been keeping an eye on his condition through the street. Is this a mind reading gathering?
Oh, I certainly feel so much pain. Are you alright? Where does it hurt? Worry has clouded your judgment, Yang Yang. His vitals are stable with normal sized pupils and a steady breathing rhythm. Okay, so that was really a joke. This isn't the place for talking. Let's go. I love protagonist that has humor. For some reason, for some reason, Genshin Impact's main character has the least amount of humor. No way, I don't want to fight this boss. Rem reminds me of the night in solo leveling. But whatever, let's try. What? Oh, it was a tutorial. Ah, damn. It's good. Easy on me, please. Strike from the shadows. The hour is upon us. Let me be your blade. Oops, oops. Very bad at dodging. Second pass or is he running away? No, second pass. Second pass. Okay. Damn, my dodge. That attack was oh shit. Swift and resolute. That girl used an attack that looked a lot similar to Virgil. Oh. Okay, sucks. Oh, no, no, no. I barely, I rarely, I actually rarely dodged any attack. Genshin, oh. hurt? Playing Genshin Impact with Dongli and playing Star Rail all the time reduced my skill to nothing. Oh, thank goodness. We could see that darn barrier, but couldn't lay a finger on it. I'm fine too. I've never seen such a formidable tacit discord before. 
But Rover was able to completely defeat it. We beat it together. You was there. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. No, no, no. That's not true. Both of our ASP got reduced to 50%. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out. <laughs> An illusion left by the tacit discord. Oh, this is an Oh, echo. an echo. Wow, an echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? frequencies and every sound generates a reverberation those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate we can absorb them into the data banks in our pangu terminals oh by pangu terminal she means the gourd shaped device every resonator has developed by researchers in guanglong but you see it's not always we get to find these also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. It says I'm level zero. No worries. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby Roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. That was totally different than what I expected. This echo is really different. Rover, you... You've been playing the fool all along? I've never seen a resonance ability quite like this. You got any other tricks up your sleeve? Like eating a whole tacit discord? Grilling echoes alive? How does that relate to my cooking skills? I heard some folks tried to cook gull puffs, and they even made it a local specialty, didn't they? Speaking of which, gull puffs a type of tacit dis- I'm even more curious now. Anyway, spicy food is always the best. Uh, wh what happened? I didn't click on anything. Rover, are you feeling alright? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiju, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? 
Yeah, I need a checkup. Hmm. Daiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiangun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. That sounds mysterious. If I may say, Rover, you seem quite mysterious too. Judging by the starting scene we saw, actually that's totally true. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granddaddy of us all? No way. Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. Wait, the signal's back. Holographic message to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jinjo has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huanglong. It's Rover, isn't it? We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. Why do I get this feeling? 
this person our magistrate was talking about. It's Rover. Yep, that's me. Wow, so this is the true measure of a chief. I mean, of our Rover. Chief? This is the true measure of a chief. It's a famous line from a good old hero play. It's been running for almost four years. It's a really heartwarming tale about the chief and their squad. Does that hero play story sound familiar to you? Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? Take a look at these festivities. I bet There's they're gonna be beautiful. The festival break. The best part of it hasn't even started. If you're eagerly anticipating the festival atmosphere now, I'm afraid you'll end up disappointed. But if you can stay in Jinjo for a little while longer until the moon chasing festival activities begin. I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the Magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor our um, Magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important... Friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together. And that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Pamela's restaurant. Let's head to the city. Oh, I have to go by myself. It would be best for your well-being to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. While there don't seem to be any immediate side effects follow- I'm gonna get you one you can absorb. I never go back on my promise. Your hero Chisha's on the hunt. Strike from the shadows. And I got hit anyways. Wow. Let me be your blame. Precipitant. Any special crit hit? No. Swift and resolute. Can you reenact what you did before? I feel nothing. Hmm. Maybe you can only absorb the or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Sorry, wrong click. Or maybe maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. Yay! It worked! I've never seen a gourd quite like yours before. Is it what I think it is? It's almost it's it's almost like artifact. There are side effects. That's beautiful actually. Using monsters as artifacts. Hmm, your terminal's got a different look. But the functions are pretty much the same. Okay. That's actually really cool. It will take me some time to get adjusted to its combat system because for now I still don't have much 
experience in Elden Ring kind of combats. And Wuthering Waves is kind of hard compared to the games I usually play. I can't collect them. Looks like they are not materials. <laughs> there you are, my dearest seed of fate. What should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? Sounds good. I am to return to the Academy. The anomalies of the Gorges of Spirits, the resurgence of that tacit field, and the many wave-worn phenomena occurrences. I should report them in time. Then I'll go submit our report and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the Magistrate while I'm there. Sounds like a lot of work. It may take some time, but there won't be too much paperwork. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first. And we'll just hang out for a while. Being new to Jinjo and all, he can't be left standing outside the city hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then I'll leave you in Shizia's care, Rover. Is that... Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are fine. Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. A thorough examination? Yes. A physical examination would be required to determine if any disease is present. If no medical issues are found, We'll conduct further monitoring and analysis to understand what happened to your body. Are you gonna perform it or is there someone else? Of course there is. Of course. I... We won't do anything without your consent. Okay, thanks. You guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! Then I'll have more time to show Rover around. We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances, hero plays, stand-up shows, and then maybe the martial championships. Plus tons of different treats to try out. You think it, we have it. Yang Yang, bye Z. See you later.
Chissa, ally of justice at your service. Are you the one in need of a hero? I also love the main character, but I'm still going to save the materials necessary for leveling. Oh, what is this for? Proludes. I know what's Lustrous tied for, but I don't know how to give pulls in this game, or is it not unlocked yet? I'm not going to open this because I don't know anything about this game, and I don't know who is weapon to choose. Here we are, Jinjo's Nexus Tower. Exactly. Let me see. Uh. Think of it as Jinjo's largest service station, or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person myself. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center all in one enormous package. Yeah, and the size of it is also enormous. The smaller ones we ran into I just pronounced it wrong, I'm sorry. Beacons. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one, and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Pretty nifty, huh? Just place your terminal here. <sighs> Oops. Oops, I was trying to glide, but it's alright. Okay, so the resin in this place is called Wavelet. I'm so sorry for calling it Reverberation that trailblaze power of this game. City Hall is this way, I guess. Yep. No, 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 okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to practice the sprint climbing, I guess. I don't know what's it's, what it's called, but it's really cool, so I want to master it to look cool. And I think it's going to be useful in combat, maybe. I'm not sure. The graphics of this game is 10 by 10, easily. What do you mean I'm not the VIP the Magistrate's expecting? Go see for yourself! Everyone's been talking about it. 
seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non-staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most people were at but Perhaps the magistrate isn't here yet. There is a small chance she's not in the city hall, but it's very unlikely for her not to be in Jinzhou. Or rather, it's nearly impossible for the magistrate to leave Jinzhou at all. With her busy schedule, it's already difficult to find any time off. In addition, as the magistrate of Jinzhou, leaving the land under her jurisdiction without authentication is not allowed. She's engaged on a business trip, or when Jinjo's safety is under threat. Yep, there's gotta be something big if that's the case. It's me they are waiting for. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Can holographic messages be pre-recorded? Sure it can! Have you thought of something, Rover? Perhaps the Magistrate didn't know who her guest was. I'm wondering why the Magistrate wanted to meet her guest in person. She must have had a reason for attracting all this attention. I think the first one is the most logical one. She is not doing this to avoid confusion for her guest. She should have anticipated the follow-up of her public message. Still, how does she decide who is her guest and who is not? Nothing in particular. Okay, I'm going to check this. I can't really keep up with your thoughts. But I think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anywhere a magistrate's the best lead we have for now. No matter what she has in store for Rover. What if I am not the person? What if I am the person? Then that's exactly what we're after. Oh. We're on the right track then. You'll be getting your memories back in no time. What do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? What really matters is how I will live my life and create new memory. In that case, how about meeting with the magistrate first? She may have the answers you're looking for. We're not allowed to go with you. Shizia and I will be right outside the city hall. We'll be waiting for you. That's right. We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear you. Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. The I was trying to create comedy but I failed. Solaris 3, the third planet from Sun, a world of gap. Okay? The third planet from Sun. Earth is also the third planet from Sun. So that's Earth. are climbs climb ever right no please follow me I can't walk I was clicking on the control button but it's not working kindly have a seat Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly.
she the magistrate? She's looking a lot different. He's not the magistrate. Call me Rover for now. I regret to inform you that Madam Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. More as right? Madam Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Got it. How were you certain I was the guest? Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. I heard many people were politely asked to leave. Regarding that, my eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You, you share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. What does my frequency look like? You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. What do the frequencies of others look? They all look different. For some reason, you can tell San Hua doesn't want to continue this topic. May I have your terminal for a moment? Are we exchanging contacts now? Indeed. It was an oh, oversight okay. on my end. I will now import my contact information and that of all public services, like patrol stations, into your terminal. I'm sorry about the comedy part. I will be here on standby, ready to assist whenever you need me. Wuthering Wave's situation is getting more and more serious. I need your terminal for regional access authorization. I will also configure the latest utility module for you. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. And over the terminal. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinzhou. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. So no more annoying paperwork? Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. Wow, thanks. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the city hall. Royal suit, here I come. I will lead you to your room if you need. I have friends waiting outside. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. So the rewards are black fruit, leaf, small device. What is this device? And a sugar pearl. 
Is it a candy? A round pearl shaped candy ball hidden inside a simple sweet wrapper. Yeah, it is a candy. Oh my god. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. They have guns. Rover. Can we please have a character that has gun as their main weapon so we can shoot from far and won't have to dodge anything? It took you so long. What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. Yes. <clears throat> what the long face, Yang Yang? I guess it's it Yang sure Yang. Is. Shizia, the increasing tacit fields, and camely powerful tacit discords, and now our magistrate's absence. Plus. The mysterious rover, I'm afraid. Okay, <laughs> this is an interesting choice, but because everyone is serious, I think this one is more suitable. Well, we've reported to the city hall. The what Ministry are these two kids doing? The academy. Are they statues? Everything we can. Or is it bugged? I mean, this is one long. And we're talking about Jinjo of all places. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. I hope the Sentinel is still alive. United we stand. A bastion of might. One equals a legion. Invulnerable in fight. Well said, Chizia. Do you have any plans, Rover? Let's investigate the item. Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So, what's so special about them? Take the candy. A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called sugar pearls. But I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes, the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But... what does it mean as a token? Take the leaf. The color of this leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think... I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. Take the small device. Mm. It seems like a miniature sundial. A sundial? It is a horological device that tells time by using sunlight's direction. Sundials in Huanglong usually have marked lines for the 12 shuchuns in a day. And every Shichun is two hours long, with some showing seasons or months. The design of this sundial looks a bit unusual, though. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the twelve earthly branches, drawn on the outer ring of its surface. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the Teal Long represents the east, the 
white tiger stands for the west. The vermilion bird stands for the south. And finally, we have the black tortoise for the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how can it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. And currently, this is the night. Ugh, that we can't even test it. Way too much brain power. Take the black fruit. This is a mangosteen fruit. The mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still. And that's all. So Chizia and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? No. When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. Let's go ask around. We have these two kids. Oh no. I guess they're not statues. Hello. After a tense moment of silence, the little girl seems to have finally made up her mind about a great sacrifice. She offered you her hand, revealing a small piece of candy. Thank you, but why? Madam Magistrate said we should be nice to every guest. We just got one more candy. Candy spells riddle. There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there fast. Yang Yang just installed some acts for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. Are you talking about teleporting? Oh, no, See? no. Just don't... See? See? Just open the Utilities, select the Grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot. Oh, wait a sec. Someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? Duty calls. Oops. Almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover Yin Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Stop! Stop! Don't call me that! Anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. So Ma Xiaofeng is the hero he was talking about, I guess. Sure. Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. to my message she's probably busy in her lab over there must be mr mortify from the department of safety baiju once mentioned him before he might be able to help us get in touch with baiju but um it seems we've caught him at a bad time anyway let's try asking him shall we what you need something 
we are here for Pisces. Pisces, I guess. Oops. Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiji, and we're here Baiji, to look okay. for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiji should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He... Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the Sugar Pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. That's a straightforward solution. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies related branches. Tacitite? That's the field Mortify specializes in, isn't it? Yes. Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Mortify's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. This one looks like the early handiwork of someone I know. It's lightweight, and its design differs from that of the typical sundial. And it appears to be missing a part. See? There's a groove here. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the academy, Rover? We will take a quick look around here then. Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. Okay. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Let's begin. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? <sighs> try your best, okay. Mm. Sorry, it seems I can't do that. Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. That body is like a black hole. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. Will I turn into a monster? How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. What happens when someone overclocks? This is known as overclocking, and is categorized into three levels based on severity. The excess resonance energy harms both the resonator and their surroundings. In extreme cases, the excess energy can even manifest as destructive tacit fields. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a 
creature hiding inside your body. Sounds like I have a little universe within me. A universe? That's a poetic and intriguing comparison. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. It means simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. Oh, we got Icy as a playable character right now. previously detected your bodily functions are in good condition and you seem entirely unaffected by the crime this energy now we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing synchronization I sense your weakness. I should practice dodging actually because that's the only issue I currently have. <laughs> Let me dodge a shoot. That was uh Normal, not good or something. My reflex. You can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The calm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? same spot again and this moon what, what is happening that's the moon at first i thought it was a planet tacit discords um looks like a very dangerous monster I don't think I will be able to dodge her attacks. Grover! Grover! Oh. oh! Thank goodness! You're awake, Baiji. What happened just now? The connection was suddenly cut off. Grover, do you still remember what you saw? Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. A giant tacit discord with a scythe? It doesn't sound like the crownless. Might be even higher ranked. 
This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated Sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. Thank you. I will. Okay, so the pulling system, I mean the wishing system, it's called Convene in this game. I think it's gonna be Baiji. I am Baiji. Of course, why not? At the Huashu Academy. Let me witness. Okay. Uh, I don't know which character is good here, but it's not like I can choose which character I want. At least give me a 5 star because I don't have enough pulls to reach 50. Recitifier of Night. Rectifier, Rectifier. Oh, I'm sorry. Originite type 1 Gauntlets of Night These are all 3 star, let's skip Cadenza A 4 star Gun No character That's kind of sad That's not the color of 5 star I think it's called SSR in the game Not 5 star Lunar Cutter Again, no character I'm ending this video here and I will be making a video where I will continue the quest Thank you everyone for watching